Hey guys, Brianna here. A um, little unconventional. Sorry, again, I'm late. We are in a hotel room in Oakley right now. So um, this video may be a little bit shorter, but I think that when we go through Chicken Wings beer and college football today, um, you guys are going to find this a hopefully pretty relatable chapter um, because it's all about friendships and it's all about we have different friends that come into our lives at different points and ones that really can walk through certain journeys with us. And it's not to say that one friend is more important than another, but it's really just going through and saying that God puts people in our path when we need it most or when we need them most. And so in going through this, you guys think back on friendships that you've made over the years and is there a perfect time when somebody has one of those friends has walked into your life at just the opportune moment that you needed them it's somebody that you can call in the middle of the night it's somebody that can relate to something that you're going through because they've gone through it themselves um, there's a whole multitude of things out there um, but friendship is just so important and when we look at our friends, how are they building us up? How are you being a great friend to that person or to the friends that you have currently? Um, are you using your tools, your charisms to build others up, to be dependable, to be God serving, to be loving in their most needed time in their lives? And so I think right now, this chapter is hit perfectly for our family because we are going through something just so impactful for us. My husband lost his uncle and his godfather this past week. And my group of, of friends, these people, I mean, uh, the outpouring of love, of food that's been brought to our house, the texts, the phone calls, the, the Venmos for a cup of coffee just to get through the day. I mean, it just... You, you feel everybody's presence even though they're not even there. And it's just such an important, um, it just, it means so much. And when Catherine starts to talk about her NICU challenges and the friendship that she was able to make with another NICU mom who was going through and son having surgery, I mean, it was like drop everything and show up at the hospital. And that's, that's what we need to do and we're in such a me 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 movement right now and it's all about me and it's it's hard to get out of that and so thankfully we live in a great community I live in a great community a lot of you are a part of that where people drop what they're doing when somebody has a need and that is the type of servant that we need to be and friend that we need to be um, I think of that, hey, check on your friends, they're not okay, that whole that whole uh, phrase that you hear. And every now and then, like if it's a really good friend you haven't talked to in a while, pick up the phone. Don't, don't text. I mean, if it's the middle of the night, please don't call them. Find somebody, find a friend of yours that maybe you haven't connected with in person for a while. Pick up the phone and try to have a phone conversation. And if they can't, they're working, they're in the middle of something, leave them a voicemail. Don't just hang up. Let them hear your voice. Let them know why you're calling. You just wanted to say, hey, you wanted to catch up. Maybe then you get an opportunity to catch up over the phone. Maybe you get an opportunity to go get coffee or breakfast or lunch, whatever it is with that friend. And really reflect on what your friendships have meant to you and the different friendships that you have right now and in turn thank god for those and if there's friendships that maybe have fallen away maybe it's somebody that you don't get to engage with as often as you would like pray for them and in that prayer that god brings them back full circle but again reach out and so friendship it's it's like a marriage it's like anything else it's a two-way street and so I just want to say that this group, this community, you guys have been amazing. And I feel so fortunate to be blessed with amazing friends, amazing family. 
and I have a lot that I can eat chicken wings, beer, in college and watch college football with. And so remember that in your most needed hour, they're going to be there. But also, how do you make it a point to have that fellowship, have that friendship, have that engagement with them, even if it's been a while? Again, pick up the phone, call them, go do something. And I... I guarantee you it's it's going to be plentiful, it's going to be bountiful, you're going to have great rewards from doing that. So um, I don't have my reflections questions with me, so I will be posting them a little bit later today. But again, my challenge for you today is how can you reach out to somebody you haven't spoken with in a while? Maybe it's a new a new person to the community even, and bring them into the fold and engage them in in your group of friends and and start a whole new a whole new journey for them so i hope you guys are all doing well and i will be on tomorrow again to get chapter five going but like i said be prepared i'll i'll shoot those questions over and i'll talk to y'all soon thanks guys bye